15 years. He has spent the last three in protective custody because of a long history of violence and fighting. He would fight with staff uh, at the drop of a hat. If he woke up one morning, just decided he was gonna uh, just terrorize everybody throughout the next three, four days there, that's exactly what he would do, and he had the energy to do it. I would see murders, killings, uh, stabbing, beatings, uh, five or six people uh, stabbing one person, and I would drop in about them fights to half the person. And, you could tear up commodes faster than anybody I knew. He could rip a steel sink right off the wall. It's not the fact that he was just super strong, but he had the determination at the time to just uh, keep at it until he got to accomplish what he wanted. And they used to put me in handcuffs, and I broke in like it was paper. And they still put me in two, three sets of handcuffs, and I still break them. As Johnson and the 170 other protective custody inmates like him are locked in their jail cells, they face another night of relative safety inside one of the most violent places in America.